Would you like some practical tips on how to customize your Minecraft pond into a beautiful enchanted area? Well, you've come to the right video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you five tips on how to turn your Minecraft pond from this into this. If you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Now for tip number one. Whether you found a vanilla Minecraft pond and want to fix it up, or you're recreating one from scratch, first thing that you are going to need to do is shape it into a good looking pond. And for this, you will have to answer a couple of questions. First, how big do you want your pond? And second, how deep do you want to make it? I would suggest for most ponds, you're only gonna want the pond around one to three blocks deep. Since this pond is vanilla Minecraft generated, I will have to fix this area down here by layering in a few more blocks. Moving on to the other end of the pond, I have decided to drop it down one more layer. And now that we have the shape of the pond to our liking, it is now time for tip number two. Now it's time to start texturing the base of your pond. I like to use mud, muddy roots, gravel, coarse dirt, soul soil, and even a little dripstone. Randomizing these blocks help to give the area a little character, but you could also think about what a normal pond looks like. How the sides are a little more muddy and the middle of the pond maybe has some rocks in it. To add that rock effect, you can use some slabs of cobblestone and andesite along the bottom of the pond. And don't forget that the texturing in the bottom of the pond should also come up to the size of the pond. Here I'm adding in some mud and muddy roots right by the edge of the pond, while towards the grass I start adding in some more drier blocks like gravel, coarse dirt, and even some moss. Now that we've shaped the pond and textured it, it's time to start thinking about decorating around the pond. Because while just texturing adds a lot of life to this pond, adding in some greenery can do wonders. Here I'm adding in sugarcane, bamboo, azalea, and flowering azalea leaves. To get a little bit of height difference in the sugarcane and bamboo, you can use string to cap off the top from growing any higher. I also like to add a bit of drip leaf and small drip leaf into the pond itself for some more greenery. To finish it off, we'll bone meal the floor of the pond to give us some seagrass. The ground around the pond is looking a little flat, so to add a little more height difference, we can add in some stones and rocks around the pond. Placing a slab of cobblestone or andesite can work really well in adding some small stones around the pond. However, I also like to add in some larger rocks by using some andesite slabs, stairs, and blocks, as well as mossy cobblestone to create a large rock something like this. Since this pond is backed up against a cliff, we can also accentuate the cliff a bit more by removing the dirt and adding in stone. Now that we have a bit more depth in our build, it is time to go on to our final tip. Our customized pond is nearly complete and it's time for those final touches. We're going to do this by adding in some azalea leaves around the rocks. We're also going to add in just a few pops of color by planting some torch flowers and pitcher pods. If you don't have access to these plants yet, you can also use two tall flowers. I like the peonies best, but any of them would really work. We're also going to add in a few pieces of colorful coral fans along the base of the pond and adding in a few amethyst crystals for the magical effect, both along the pond, but also beside some of the rocks. Finally, it's time to add a few trees around here. I've really been enjoying building this simple birch tree lately where you layer up four diorite walls on top of one another and then top it with three fences. Adding in a mixture of moss, azalea leaves, and flowering azaleas works amazingly. Adding in those pops of color really just makes this pond come alive. And there we have a beautiful customized pond for you to recreate in your own Minecraft worlds. Let me know down in those comments what you think about this pond. And also let me know what you'd like to see next from me. Thanks so much for watching today's video and I will catch you in my next one. Bye for now.